Hey guys, Victoria Rose here, Spiritual Behavior Coach, and I wanted to make this video for you today because I know a lot of you are in a position where you know you need to start making some changes, you know you have a behavior that's affecting the rest of your life and you're not happy, your life is not easy, and you want it to be easy, um, but you don't know what to do, and you don't know how to go about making these changes. Uh, so I thought I would make a quick little video for you to just give you some tips and, and techniques, some things that you could start implementing today and see some major changes. So let's say you have a behavior. You know what your behavior is. Um, maybe you go to Starbucks every day and you, you're gaining weight from all of the muffins. That you're, does Starbucks even have? I don't know if they have muffins, but uh, if they have muffins. <laughs> um, or you're overeating or you're smoking or you're biting your nails or... Maybe even you really want to just focus on your negative self-talk uh, because this is affecting every area of your life and you know it needs to change. So what do you do? Um, well, the first thing that's really important is to just be aware of the problem. Identify the behavior you want to change. So I recommend that you take a small notepad or an index card even and as you go throughout your day for maybe a week or so, just put a small little check or a small tally each time you engage in the behavior, each time you go to Starbucks, each time you bite your nails, each time you engage in negative self-talk, um, and every time you engage in this behavior, just place a check. By bringing awareness to the problem, number one, you're going to start to see a decrease in the behavior. Um, and number two, you're going to be able to start analyzing the events before and after the behavior. Uh, the events that trigger the behavior and the events that maintain the behavior. So what that is called is the habit loop or in applied behavior analysis, we refer to it as the antecedent, the behavior and the consequence, or you may hear it referred to as the cue, the habit and the reward. Um, it's the same thing. So what it is, let's see, the cue or the antecedent is the event that happens immediately before the behavior begins and this triggers the behavior um so if you're feeling anxious you bite your nails the cue or the antecedent would be feeling anxious if you are in a situation where you uh, don't feel comfortable then the negative self-talk starts uh, so the cue or the antecedent would be feeling uncomfortable um what else or smoking if you want to get up and, and take a break at work if you're feeling anxious and you want to go for a walk at work. Um, so that would be the antecedent for you to go outside and have a cigarette. And there are a million different antecedents. There are a million different cues. Uh, but it's really important that you identify the cue that is triggering your behavior. Once you do that, I want you to look at the consequence of the behavior. The cue triggers the behavior. The antecedent triggers the behavior. And the consequence or the reward maintains the behavior behavior is maintained and shaped by the consequences. Uh, so why do you bite your nails? Does it make you feel relaxed? Do you feel a sense of completion after you go through each of your 10 nails? Um, why do you smoke? Why do you overeat? Do you feel happier after you have a cigarette or do you feel happier after you overeat? Once you realize why you're engaging in this behavior, it makes it so much easier to change the behavior. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take your note card. You're gonna make the notes for, you're gonna make a tally each time you engage in the behavior. And then once you have your tallies, you're gonna look at the behavior, the habit loop or the antecedent, the behavior and the consequence. You're gonna look at what happens around each behavior um, and, and what is strengthening this behavior and making it more likely to occur again in the future. So then what? <laughs> then what are you gonna do? Um, so it's really hard to just extinguish a behavior. Um, and by extinguish, I mean to eliminate it, to make it not happen again. A much easier thing to do is to find a, be find a behavior that is equivalent in the reward that it gives, um, is similar in the antecedent or the cue that triggers it, and just replace it. Um, when you quit smoking, it, well, eh, people do this all the time. It's very, but it's very hard. It's very hard to just go cold turkey. Um, it's very, and you know what? I, I preface this by saying, making the decision to make changes is one of the most important pieces of the puzzle. Um, 
but it is difficult to just wake up one morning and say, I'm not going to do this anymore and never do it again. Um, so what I suggest you do is you try to replace the behavior. And I'm getting a phone call. Okay, sorry guys. You replace the behavior with, with an equivalent behavior. So let's say you're biting your nails. Uh, you notice that the antecedent or the cue is feeling anxious. What can you do instead that will give you the same reward? What about filing your nails? Um, what about tapping them on the desk in front of you? Um, and, and this is where you can be creative and thinking uh, of things that you can do instead. Or let's see, what about negative self-talk? Um, you're feeling anxious or you're feeling self-conscious and you say the this is where you start to engage in this behavior. What can you do instead? Can you start saying some affirmations instead? I am beautiful. I am fulfilled. I am happy. I am worthy. Um, you know, these are all replacement behaviors that you can engage in. What else? Um, if you are overeating, why are you overeating? Are you overeating because you are feeling sad? Are you feeling lonely? Are you uh, feeling bored? What can you do instead that's going to deliver the same consequence, the same reward? Um, so it's kind of simple. It's a, a little formula, but again, you want to look at awareness, awareness of the behavior, identify specifically what the behavior is that you want to change, um, and then look at the events that occur before and right after it, the antecedent or the cue or the reward or the consequence, and then think about a replacement behavior. Oh, and here comes my son <laughs> with a messy face. Um, and hopefully by engaging, <laughs> oh my God, messy face, engaging in, uh, or by implementing a, by implementing, <laughs> uh, implementing a behavior that's equivalent, then you will have a much easier time changing your behavior. So I hope I have helped you today. If you have found some value in this and you would like to speak with me further about how we can implement a plan together um, to change your behaviors for good, please use the link below to schedule a free clarity call with me. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.